Runners, Ricardo Jean, CSWE Mechanical Engineer, K Customs Mechanical Engineer, International Welder. So, all right, guys. Well, we're going to get into it here. Now, listen, uh, everybody in the chat, um, especially those of you guys who have been watching this tournament pretty pretty closely, uh, I feel like I'm having a little bit of like a brain, brain fog moment here. Uh, when I show this drawing, if this is one that we've seen before in the tournament this year, tell me in the chat. Um, I, I feel like I had a dream about this model and like I dreamed that it was in the tournament, but uh, I just want to make sure that like I didn't miss. I did go back and look and review and like I'm pretty confident this hasn't been in the tournament yet. But uh, just in case, guys, let me know. Let me know if this model number 12 has already come up, uh, but I think we are good here. So I just wanted to preface this one with that. You know how we do it here at Too Tall Toby. We, we shoot from the hip a little bit. All right, guys, let's go. Let's get into this next matchup between Ricardo Jean from Italy, K Customs from Greece, two SolidWorks Wizards. What a pleasure to watch these guys battle. And this next battle begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? The tolerance on this part is plus or minus three grams. And... The uh, the model here is called Tube Plug. It is model number 12. And uh, we're going to see here if uh, Ex Machina is in the chat. He's going to tell us if this one has been used already. But I'm going to assume that we're good to go here. So both of our runners are getting into it. And I'm going to flip over to this CAD versus CAD battle. And here we go. Ivan, you can see how our runners are looking at this model, how they're going through and trying to model it. Nothing has come in from the chat, so I think we're good. Not seeing that before. Thank you, Stu, for confirming. So we are good. So both of our runners are getting into this. We got Ricardo Jean on the left. We got K Customs on the right, both using SolidWorks, both starting out in, I think, what the most obvious way is to start this out, which is with a Revolve feature. It's always interesting when you have a part like this, you have to decide if you're going to do it as Revolves or if you're going to do it as Boss Extrudes. How do you think you would do this one, Ivan, as a Revolve? Yeah, you're going to, yeah, I'm going to do one or two revolves on this one for sure. But um, this is a good one to just sit and think a little bit because the order in which you do these things is going to really uh, make things easier for you in the end. Yeah, it's got a like little, it. yeah, thank you. It's got, uh, you know, it's got the features that we can see on the outside here in the 3D model, but then it's also got a really interesting feature going through the inside, almost as though like a tube is being routed through the inside. Yeah. And so that's yeah. going to, that's going to, you know, we're going to kind of uh, find out how good these guys are with some of the different features in SolidWorks. So K Customs on the right, deciding to put uh, all the features in that original sketch. Uh, you can see that uh, Ricardo Jean surprisingly took a similar approach. I would have probably added those features after as like a chamfer, fillet, standalone features. But uh, these guys are kind of, they're, they're, they're doing their own thing. Mm-hmm. So we'll see how Ricardo Jean modeling this upper region of the model handles it. We see the K Customs on the right there, modeling up a lot of features in that sketch, moving very fast, but man, Ricardo Jean is almost superhuman with his speed here in these models. This is incredible to watch. Yeah, I, I glance back and forth, and, and every time I'm back on Ricardo's screen there, he's got another another section, another feature done. So yeah. he's, he's cruising very well. Yes, 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 yes. And we got Mars Gizmo in the chat says, woohoo, hey, Toby. Hey, Mars Gizmo, thanks for joining us. Huge fan, huge fan of your work. And uh, so happy to have you in here, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Barry in the chat says, don't think we've seen this one before. All right, excellent. So we got Ricardo Jean on the left. Wow. Very nice use of, uh, was that a sweep cut with no, no, base feature no uh, profile feature oh, no profile sketch really really good nice. this is somebody who really knows some of the options in solidworks yeah. wow 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 very Absolutely. cool to see that feature very well done ricardo if you guys didn't see that roll the video back that was a sweep cut with no profile recognizing that it was circular in nature and uh it looks almost like ricardo gene is on the final spin here we might actually see an answer for this one and Ricardo Jean coming in with an answer, 817 grams. And that is correct. And congratulations to Ricardo Jean. That is going to lock up his two points for the victory. He's going to be moving on to the round of eight. And wow, 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 that was so fast. What a battle between those two runners, those two experts. 
We got Jed Hightower in the chat saying GG. Wow, wow, wow. That was awesome. Good job to Ricardo Gene. Good job to K Customs as well. K Customs saying GG. That was speedy. What a great sport from K Customs. We really appreciate that sportsmanship. And uh, what a matchup. My goodness, guys. That was intense. And I don't know if anybody out there could have beaten Ricardo Gene in those two matches. That was that was uh that was some speed. What do you think about that, Ivan? Yeah, that was fantastic, fantastic. And like I said, I'm kind of I'm looking back and forth from uh, one competitor to another. But um, I don't know that Ricardo really.